Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the question is, it was all about animals. Now what about plants? How do plants get their food? Now plants are self-dependent in this regard. Plants prepare their own food by a process called photosynthesis. Now a lot of you might question that okay even we prepare our own food, our moms prepare our food in the kitchen. So geez, we are also preparing our own food, we are also not dependent on anybody. But that's not the case. Even when your mom prepares food for you, what does she prepare? Sometimes she prepares maybe uh, a sandwich for you. But from where, do, where does she get the raw materials to prepare a sandwich? She needs vegetables, she needs butter, she needs bread to prepare that sandwich. So from where does she get the vegetables? The vegetables are obtained from plants. From where does she get the bread? So for that bread again you need products which are obtained from plants like the cereals are obtained from plants. For preparing the sandwich she also needs butter. And butter is again a dairy product. It is obtained from the milk of some animals, of dairy animals. So you see, even to prepare that sandwich, which of course your mom is preparing it to make it yummier and tastier for you, but the raw materials of that sandwich comes either from some plants or some animals. So basically we are dependent for our food on other organisms, be it plant or animal. But when we talk about plants, they prepare their own food by this process called photosynthesis. So what is photosynthesis? So it is a process, now photo, the word photo means light and the word synthesis means to prepare, to synthesize. So preparing food in presence of sunlight is what is called as photosynthesis. That is why we say that water and sunlight are very very important for the survival of a plant because they play a, because if the process of photosynthesis doesn't take place then plants will not be able to prepare their food so if plants are not preparing their food so what's happening they are not getting food no food no energy so what will happen eventually the plant will die so it is very important to pr provide appropriate sunlight and water to plants so let us understand what is photosynthesis so in for photosynthesis there are a couple of things which are needed chlorophyll is one of them so what is chlorophyll it is a green pigment green colored pigment which is present in the leaves of plants present in the leaves of plants now due to the presence of this green pigment the color of the leaves are green so most of the plants have green leaves that's due to the presence of this pigment chlorophyll now chlorophyll is an important raw material for photosynthesis the plants which contain chlorophyll can only perform photosynthesis sunlight now without sunlight again plants cannot perform photosynthesis third is water and fourth is carbon dioxide. So these are the four important raw materials for photosynthesis to take place. Now what exactly happens during photosynthesis is that this pigment called chlorophyll, it tends to utilize the energy of sunlight. The sunlight has a lot of energy in it. In fact, that is why we say that sun is the ultimate source of energy. So sunlight has a lot of energy. So this energy is utilized by these green pigments called chlorophyll which are present in the leaves of the plants. Now by utilizing this energy, what happens, it, it makes use of the water which is obtained from the soil on which the plant is planted and it also utilizes the carbon dioxide which is taken from the environment. Now we know that there are stomata on leaves of the plant, you have tiny pores on the leaves. Through these pores, gaseous exchange takes place. Intake of gases or throwing out of unnecessary gases, all these things take place through these tiny pores on the leaves. So the carbon dioxide is taken in from the atmosphere and water and carbon dioxide, they both combine to form food for the plant. So let us look at the exact equation that happens during photosynthesis. So exactly what happens is that the carbon dioxide, it combines with water and this happens in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and what is the product the product is glucose that is C6H12O6 so this is glucose and oxygen is released as a part of the process 
Now, what is this glucose? This is nothing but the food of the plant. So where is the food stored? The food is stored in the leaves of the plant because chlorophyll is basically present in the leaves of the plant. So this entire process of photosynthesis takes place in the leaves of plants. Now this is the food for plants. So this will be stored in the plants. What will happen to this oxygen? The oxygen is not needed by the plants so they will tend to give it away. So carbon dioxide is taken up by the plants from the atmosphere and oxygen is given out into the atmosphere. So this exchange of gases where the plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen that happens through the tiny pores present on the leaves which are called stomata. So this is how the process of photosynthesis takes place. Now do you understand why it is called photosynthesis? Because this process takes place only in the presence of sunlight. And why chlorophyll is needed? Because chlorophyll can only utilize the energy of the sunlight and then cause this entire reaction to take place. So therefore, sunlight, chlorophyll, water and carbon dioxide. Only if these four things are present, plants will be able to perform photosynthesis. So this is how plants prepare their food and this is how they get energy. So we saw that all living organisms, be it plant or animal, they all need food because food gives them energy and every organism needs energy to perform all kinds of activities, whether it is external physical activities or mental activities or the processes which are taking place inside their bodies like digestion, respiration, etc. Even those processes need energy. So food is very, very important for all living organisms. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.